was your holiday. I was making money. And to think you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house, the barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four tacks to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horns and hounds the forest Spread his packs, the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, think about it, and let us marry be. Our can is full, let's break it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? Just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <clears throat> yeah. Let's go. We can't leave this waiting. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about it. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do. Except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him? And we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. I guess we'll soon find out. Better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> to the trees. Come on.
Up there, to the right. Two Skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Control to our left. Shh. Hold it. Let him go. Easy. Easy. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. He might lead us to the camp. Keep on him. He's stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. Poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body. He must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him, John. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. Oh, hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. My God, 
We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Charles! here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Ready? Because here come the rest of them. Quick. There's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on. I'm not going. Hold on, let me... 
me fall, please. Uh, Uncle. Uncle? Hey. Where? All right. Let's get you down. You can see. I got you. I got you. Come on. Let's get him out. Right. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. And I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. You, you're... <laughs> I... You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! Thank you. 
How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. Do you like eating, though, right? Because we got to find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. OK, sir. Why you got to be like that? I'm sorry. It's OK. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But if you'd like him to, I guess. So you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah. I. I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's... It's... It's life. I, I can't explain it. Okay. What are you gonna be when you're older? I wanna travel. See the world. That's a good idea. Then, become a lawyer and, and help people. That's not a lawyer, that's a... Are you laughing at me? No. Never. Just... Whatever you do, do it better than me and your mom. We had it. However we had it. We didn't make the most of it until now. Okay. Okay. Long way. I guess I didn't expect it to be so far. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that. And hours later, they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. 
I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's... he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now, reel. I got him! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? How you feel? I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! <laughs> Let me come help you look. Well, this ain't like him, Pa. Can you go search the other side of the track? Rufus! 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 Dad! Please come here! I see. He bit him! Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down, too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Well, suck it, Dad! Don't swallow it! Keep going! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail! Can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes. Sometimes, you just don't know how things are going to turn out. 
But... But the dog... The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. Looking for a trim? So what'll it be today? Now that isn't half bad, huh? Suits you. That's pretty nice. All right, you're ready to go. Thank you very much, friend. Good morning, friend. Who it is. May I direct you to that bounty poster hanging on yonder wall there?
Dylan's been going into construction yards in the night, taking tools and the like. All kinds of folks is angry about this one, right up to City Hall. Standing in the way of progress, they say. Hmm. <laughs> say hello to that no good from me. Good morning, sir. This weather is lovely. You know, a man as stupid as you is mighty hard to read. All right, I'll buy it. Uh, I'm done. If you watch real close, you can see him reading the cards under his So, uh, what do you need? Funny how a hand can play out. I'd like a room for the night. It's all yours. Enjoy.
Let's get all bets down. What's happened in the news? Wrong Quite a country. The madhouse has been decked town over. What's going on in there? Huh? Give yourself up! You don't have anything on me! You want to take a bullet for a petty crime? Stop! There is no crime! Surrender, Zeisendorf! You got nowhere to go! It's a setup. I can't. Oh, okay. Okay. Y you got me. Okay? Uh, this is all a terrible mistake. I didn't do anything. Let's make sure you can't run off anywhere else. Uh, you really... Uh, you really don't need to do that. Be gentle. My lawyer will hear about this. Uh, think about it. Did you really see anything? It was dark. Many shadows. The frame of the building was in your way. It's like taking something, me, a respectable fellow, an upstanding citizen, or was I tying my shoe? The burden of proof is on the prosecution, and if you give false testimony, that might be a civil matter. This is the police station. You might need a rest. This is an embarrassing mistake. My good name will be ruined. Shut it. Watch your step. Caught this one dead to rights, didn't I, Mr. Zeisendorf? Mr. Chief, I took a wander through construction. It's a mistake. Enough of you. Put that German in the cage. Innocent until proven. Quiet. There, there. Settle in. You got your man, and here's your money. If only they was all like this. A crime is a crime, and a criminal's a criminal. I saw that. You were paid to give false testimony. But this won't hold up in court. The evidence is purely circumstantial. Herman, will you quiet yourself?
You doing okay? Dogs get bit sometimes. I'll get tougher, sir. Life can be real nasty, son. Worst things are gonna happen, you know. Rufus, boy. Good boy, Rufus. All right, Rufus. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So, <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma, Pa, come out here. Sadie, <laughs> you're alive. John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I saw her. I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 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 but tell me about you, darling. No arm to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I gonna do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. <laughs> Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's gonna do something better than this. <sighs> like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I gotta bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work. That I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. You know, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. You want to work? Let's do it. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back. With the boy? You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to, uh, marry me. 
got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or, it, asking her at least. Oh my! I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But, <laughs> it's... Something I've thought about. And I... I think... I know. I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already. Long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. Post. So, we're coming up on where he's been saying. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> this fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like this way. Him or the bear? Both of them. Mount up. Let's find him. Okay. Think I got him. Follow me. Pretty. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe, but looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. No shoes. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out!
think he's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwill! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwill. Call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember. By at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this? I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. Yeah. I spend my cash on fancy clothes and horses and shiny new guns. That's cause... Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshal Thor... Cool there. Uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was gonna have to take all of it. <laughs> you and your partner are just children. Don't get yourselves hurt now, son. I told you she wouldn't listen. Drop him! Let's go. Them bastards was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about it? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here we are. Let's get him to the jailhouse.
Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. some kindness let the almighty decide his ultimate fate father some men exist to test our faith sounds like a real piece of work uh, yes he was This man here, Puss. Elias Green, butchered countless innocents and took souvenirs yep. of their flat until, thankfully, he was stopped by a lone man, another lost soul on their own path. For in these dark... Times it takes a goodly brute to put an end to men like these. Guess, I guess that's all there is. Amen. So long. See you around.
Well, you should be working. Oh, I, I've done my work. Not how I heard it. This should be grateful. I'll be grateful when your kid holds your behind. Oh, my. Oh,
I'll tell you what, woman. Was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling you out by your ear. Ah, oh, you always was a cold-hearted lizard of a woman. And you always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. <sighs> You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Ma thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom and Pa we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. Then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> Send your pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since, since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch, this life. It's so nice, John. I hope it'll only get nicer. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. <laughs> I ain't had a drink and, well, I left those things behind me. No, I mean, good, wholesome fun, like uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fine. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters. Portrait? There's a fella in town who takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just... 
walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat up. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay, then. Fortured it is. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. Get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Come along with you. You really are acting funny. Are we doing this? Uh, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls, Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take a take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever there to release the next one. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. 
This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy it. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. Thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. How's this? Now. Give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> Here came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. Bye now. <laughs> what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's it's real fine doing normal things. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. Isn't it incredible? It's like they're really there. Once you've seen one of these things that... What are you doing with that arm? I thought you might be cold. John.
<laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. Shh. <laughs> Looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. Shh. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Shh. <laughs> oh, my. Is it over? I think so. Come on. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought it was John Marston, but now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? What is it? Will you... Up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy. If you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I... I never... I didn't know what mattered to me. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs>